What's up guys, Eric here, and in today's video I'm going over the Genius Editor. Now the Genius Editor is probably my favorite feature of Copy Genius, and probably the most powerful too, because it kind of really gives you complete control over the AI, and it really allows it to be the writing assistant for you as you write your own content. Um, so rather than being confined to a single template, it really kind of plays off what your writing style is and what you're writing. Um, so to kind of jump right into this to show you how it works, click the editor button right here on the sidebar and you'll see this. So it's basically a, a regular uh, text editor. You can write in here, you can make it bold, add a heading, whatever. But you'll notice that there is a write for me button. And rather than kind of giving you a full explanation first, let me show you a little kind of uh, example. So let's say we're writing a story about cowboy. Uh, let's say a mysterious cowboy enters the town one foggy evening. Okay. So if click right for me. Actually, for the settings button right here and change this to paragraph and click right for me. What's going to happen is the AI is actually really smart and it's going to read what you wrote and continue writing in the same style and tone of voice of what you already written. Uh, so that's where the power kind of power comes in. Is it? It's a kind of a smart editor. It, it reads and kind of adjusts based off you. So kind of give you a more technical uh, uh, explanation. Wherever your cursor is, when you click write for me, the AI will read right before that cursor up to 750 characters. And it sees that and uses that as context, context for what it's going to write. So as you can see, I put my cursor here and clicked write for me and it wrote the rest of this. So it wrote, the cowboy is wearing a long black trench coat and a black cowboy hat. He has a scar on his right cheek. He doesn't say anything as he walks through the town. He goes into the saloon and orders a drink. So you can see he kind of like played off the fact that I was being descriptive with the mysterious cowboy, foggy evening, things like that. And he kept writing. Now we click write for me again. And it's going to keep on writing the same story and continue it on. So you can really just create a full story this way. Just keep hitting write for me. Or you can click control enter. And it's just going to keep on going or in a completely full story. Uh, same works with articles, essays, blogs, whatever. Um, so, <coughs> so another thing to note is you saw me play with this. If you click on settings, you can change the length here. So you click sentence and it's going to write one sentence. Click a paragraph and it's going to write a few par a few sentences. So it's really just kind of a, a length adjustment. Um, some other things you can do with the Genius, uh, Genius Editor is this little template button right here. If you're familiar with Copy Genius, you've probably already seen these before. But these are predefined templates in case you want to write something very specific. So if you want to write like a, a blog outline or a blog introduction or a social media caption, it kind of gives you the, the setup to enter the information and then it, you know, it writes space off that. So, you know, just something to know and it'll paste it right in here wherever your cursor is. So you can still use the templates in the editor, but, um, you know, kind of the power is, is using this right for me button here. So another thing to note. Actually, let's kind of read what I wrote here. Um, so he goes and orders a drink from the bartender. The cowboy replies, they call me the man with no name, uh, blah, blah, blah. So let's say we don't like where the story is heading or we want to kind of control and modify it and mold it to whatever we want. Let's kind of uh, add in our own little spin here. Um, the cowboy says he's just passing through when all of a sudden a giant dragon uh, crashes into the bar. Okay. So we're adding our own little twist, and the AI is going to use that twist and keep on writing. So let's see here. The cowboy looks at the dragon, and then back at the bartender and says, Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> the bartender pulls out a shotgun from under the counter and tells the cowboy to get out of the way. The cowboy moves to the side, and the bartender starts firing at the dragon. So you can see how you can use the AI and kind of make it however you want. Uh, it's going to conform to however you're writing, your writing style. Um, so, it, I mean, it's really, really is your AI assistant in any way that you need it to be. So let's say we're not writing a story. Let's say we're doing something completely different. Uh, let's say we're writing a blog article on, like, recipes. So let's, let's do it like this. All right. This is my grandma's favorite chicken pot pie recipe. So, when we write this, what do you think is going to happen? Well, let's find out. My guess is that AI is going to read this and give us a recipe. 
This one actually didn't. Okay. So this one actually wrote more in paragraph style. So if we don't like that, and we try it again, it might be something different. Let's see. And it didn't do that either. And that's fine. So if you actually want to force it into doing something that you want, like obviously I wanted to write a chicken pot pie recipe. If you start writing like one, kind of like a bullet point list, it would probably be like steps. So let's see. All right, the recipe is simple, only requires a few ingredients. Grandma always starts with preheating the oven to 375 degrees, so it kind of uses the whole grandma thing. Now, I don't know why I added these extra lines. Um, but yeah, so that's actually a good example of where it wanted to do something that we didn't want it to do. But by giving it a little more definition with the numbers, it kind of starts conforming to what you want. So obviously, by just saying this is my grandma's favorite chicken pot pie recipe, it's pretty open-ended. So it might do whatever you know it thinks is right, um, but the more information you give it, the better it's going to be. So, uh, like I said, it uses a context of 750 characters before the cursor. So, whatever context you give it, the more the better, essentially. So, um, we got the story it can write. It can write recipes. Uh, if you're writing like a bullet point list, um, it'll do that too. Top 10 vacation spots. Uh, one, and we can kind of give it a format if we wanted to follow it, call it a certain thing. Um, New York City, because Broadway, um, Empire State Building, this is all just really bad, but uh, what I'm trying to show you is the format that we're doing a place, and then a few reasons why that place is a vacation spot. And if you click right for me, it should follow a similar format. Okay, it does. So Honolulu, Hawaii, surfing, sun and sand, San Francisco, Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz. And it's still doing that number thing, so I have to look into why that's happening. But uh, I just want to show you how you can control what it's going to do. But hopefully that's helpful. I think that's all I really need to show here. Um, oh, a few more things, actually. So let me go back to our story, control V, go back, back up, back up, back. Okay. All right, so I said if you click right for me, it uses the context of whatever is before the cursor, but what if we don't want that? What if we want to do very specific things with a very specific set of text? Well, when you just highlight something, you'll see this little tool tip appear here. And it'll have a few options here. So, so let's say we want to uh, rephrase this text. Uh, highlight it, you'll see rephrase. You can write a paragraph on that text. You can summarize it. Uh, you can auto write the next sentence. And it'll just use whatever is in that text. And it won't see anything above or below it. So let's rephrase it. Let's say we don't like what it wrote. And there you go. This is also great too if you already have a pre written article or description or Facebook ad or whatever. And you just want to kind of rephrase it and make it look a little different, sound a little better. You do the exact same thing. Paste it in here, highlight it, click rephrase, and you're good to go. So then, okay, I think that's all I need to talk about now. So again, there's a lot you can do here. Uh, there's too many different functions to explain all in this video. You just gotta get creative. Uh, start typing, start clicking right for me and see what's gonna happen. I think playing with it is probably the best way to go. Uh, but you can get do some really creative stuff here and write basically whatever you want. Um, it really is your personal assistant. So hopefully that's helpful and I can't wait to see what you guys write. Good luck.